Hi there, I'm Maria Roach and um, I just wanted to say how appreciative we are of the community of practice um, um, opportunities that we were given, um, particularly the ability to choose what specific areas um, we could uh, strengthen in our school and particular, particularly in our English department. Um, we had um, opportunity to work with a member from um, the tech uh, group and um, that was extremely, extremely helpful. And then we also attended a session where we worked with poetry and um, afterwards, what was so great about that was that the entire department was able to collaborate and we were able to look at how we would use specific poems and the technology and decide which grade level it would work in. Um, so it was a really um, a new perspective, I would say, about the use of technology in the classroom. So we're so appreciative for that. Um, we also came up as a department and in collaboration with our library, we came up with the idea of um, looking at the possibility of e-readers. I really believe it was a, a direct result of having had the opportunity that we did through the uh, COP um, project. And so um, it really encouraged us then to attempt to use e-readers. And so that is our goal for next year, is to use uh, personal devices in the classroom, specifically e-readers, and um, see what we can come up with as a department for that particular project. The English department got together and we went to a poetry session. And it was targeted at creating practical implementations for poetry in English. So as a department, we went to the seminar and we were given a bunch of resources that were really advantageous for us and they were practical and they're practical for the kids I think too. So because poetry is part of the English curriculum, we use it every time we te teach English. So it's really great getting other people's perspectives and new insights into how to bring uh, current issues to the class and make it applicable to not bring uh, current issues to the class and make it applicable to not just school but to their lives. It's great because a whole departments can get together and do it at the same time. Um, just makes everybody on the same page, gives us all resources that we can later come back and collaborate with just on our own. Um, and then also just uh, gives outside perspective into an in-school situation. In January 2012 I attended a ERLC session on SketchUp paid for by community practice. I've been using SketchUp for basic construction uh, drawing for quite a few years, but after the session I implemented further use of SketchUp in my building construction course. This past semester I took some lessons uh, for Math 20-1 and placed them online so that students would have the ability to go back and watch their lessons and uh, gain a further uh, understanding. So it was great because if they missed class then they would have something to fall back on and in the future we would continue to do that to help students um, get the instructional information that they need. Well first of all we all got together as a department and we learned how to do Evernote and Evernote is a great social studies um, file sharing so that as social studies resources come in and some of the resources now that I'm familiar and I've got everything kind of set up and feel comfortable with it um, and making sure that I've got network um, names. Well, when we, um, we met and we got some positive guidance from Janice Sundor and uh, she showed us uh, um, how we could use Evernote in terms of uh, um, sending ourselves the type of source material that we like to use in social studies and uh, the idea, well, the possibilities involved, including sharing some of those as uh, those folders with students. So it's, um, it's a tool that's very, uh, potentially very useful for us. And I know a couple of uh, people on staff are, are hooked on it, their phones are attached to it, and um, I've got some software on my, hard, uh, my desktop now to access it. And um, yeah, it's something that I plan to 
uh, take a look at and uh, organize myself around um, for next year. Well, the community of practice with Vernier was an excellent session. Um, I did not know how to use a lot of that equipment. They taught us how to use the probes, and most uh, the best part was the data logging information. Um, it allows us to um, data log, graph. It allows the students' experience to graph, and then interpretation of the graphing. Um, it um, allows our departments to collaborate so that we can work with chemistry and physics and biology together to get all that information and not only look at one aspect of science, but all three of the sciences together. Students are very able to uh, use technology like this in laboratory environments, and we'd like them to be able to design some of their own um, experiments and more easily be able to measure things with them. And so in order for them to be able to do that, we have to be able to use the equipment as well. And so during that day, we played with them and uh, were able to become much more familiar with the technology.